what's up? It's Joy. So today in this video, I will be talking about my experience with the Lowry slash Eddie QX Eddie um, workshop with for Kill the Love Blackpink's Kill the Love. As you can see, I'm like a pretty big fan. I'm a huge blink. I went to their workshop. It was uh, sometime in May at Glendale at the Eleven Studios. And so um, I just want to talk about that, show you some clips of what my dance came out looking like. I had to go because I love the song Kill the Love. I love Blackpink. You know, not that I'm going to come become a K-pop star because I'm not. YG Entertainment would say, you're too fat to become a K-pop star. Um, I just thought it'd be great to support their debut, Lallery's debut. Hi guys, we are Lallery. Considering that I actually know Eddie from high school, he went to the same high school as me. If you don't know who he is, he's like this K-pop dancer. He does a lot of covers and he's a part of this group called Lallery. Lallery and they're trying to debut this summer with their own material. I went to this workshop to help support that. Eddie has been dancing for like as long as I can remember. Like I've known him dancing K-pop in high school and I remember him doing like K-pop dances on the rally stages and I thought that was so cool. And I bring this up because Eddie is like, he doesn't know this because I haven't told him this, but me, I'm half Korean. I was not into K-pop at all. Like, cause people thought I was cringy. People didn't know what Korea was growing up. I have a whole video of me talking about my experiences being a mixed race um, girl, which you can watch, you can check out on my channel. Eddie is not Korean, he's not Asian, he's Mexican and he does this and I think that's so cool. And him being a part of this culture, thinking it's like really good, really cool and something that he wants to do for as like a career wise and a dance. I thought that was so cool and it was inspiring to me and that's when I kind of started to get into listening to K-pop is because of him and seeing him like doing all these bold dancing type of stuff because back then K-pop still wasn't that big among like people that weren't Asian. So it was great to see that like other cultures embracing Korean culture and so that inspired me and I started listening to Blackpink's music first k-pop group I ever listened to in 2016 when they debuted because of him that's when I was like hmm maybe I should start to listen to k-pop and that's what I did and so I've been kind of like following him like what he's been doing he was under the show under 19 I believe in Korea and I think one of the first like performances besides rally stages I saw him was at the Jack Rabbit pageant in 2017. Pretty sure he did a K-pop dance. So yeah, as you can see, he's right there. So if you haven't heard of him, check out his channel. Um, he does really good covers. He's really talented. You know, so here, here he is right here. So funny thing actually, me starting this channel, it's very brand new. And so um, I had this video idea like, okay, I want to focus a lot on Korean culture on that side of me. And so I was like, oh, let me do a K-pop dance video. But I'm like, I don't know how to dance to K-pop. Emailed Eddie. I was like, hey, we should do a cover together. Or like I said, like, I know I have like a really small channel, but I think we should uh, collab together and you teach me how to do a K-pop dance for my channel. And he emailed me back saying that he can't because he's in Korea right now. And then it's funny that that happened, that exchange happened like probably like two or three months before the workshop happened. And I saw that I was like, oh my gosh, this is my opportunity to see him again and learn Kill the Slow Dance. The workshop itself was pretty good. I mean, I got there super early because it's in LA and I was worried about parking, um, but I got parking. K-pop dance is a lot harder than I expected, let me tell you. In the video that you'll see, it looks like I am not trying, but I swear I was trying my hardest and it was super fast paced. I think just mentally I can't learn stuff that fast because I was just like, and then Susie, one of the members of Lowry, she was teaching Kill the Slub, Eddie Tots Fancy by Twice. And 
um, what's it called? Susie was like, any questions? And then I, I said, um, how do you get good at this? <laughs> Cause I was like struggling. Everyone was doing pretty good. And my face was like pure sweat. And it was just like, oh my gosh, like what's going on here? I told my sister the day before that I was going to see Eddie at the workshop. And she said that she saw him at where she works, Jamba Juice, um, where she works in Buena Park. And Buena Park Source is like a bunch of Korean places. So he was bound to be there. He came in and you'll see the clip. So you're straight from my high school, I'm yeah. dead. So it's so funny because like I was at Jamba Juice and your sister works at yes. Jamba Juice. And like when I told her, I kind of was suspicious because like she's like making Wait, my... Was I there? You were there. Oh, like, yeah, I, she, I, the know, I know it. She was like, she's, she's like, like, she's like, <laughs> she's like, what's your name? <laughs> yeah, she was like, hello. <laughs> and she's like making the juice. Like, it was being extra nice. Like the customer service was like on point for drama juice. I was like, oh. thank you for coming, please. Yeah. And she matched us with the heels. <laughs> yes. Loyal. So I thought that was so funny. Will I be dancing K-pop in the future? Maybe for a video, but. It's so hard. Like I thought I was a decent dancer with no training, but man, I props to people who do K-pop dances because that's a lot. And then they were saying, like Susie was like facial expressions. I think it was Susie. She's like facial expressions make your motion sharp. And I was like, I don't even can't even remember the moves to this. So yeah, it was definitely hard to do all of that. And then I don't know why I look fat in my outfit. Like I wore like these booties with a little heel and I wore this like skirt and then this white top but it makes me look like my boobs are big and like I look like I'm fat and like short. I know I'm like 5'2 but I'm like man like I wanted to look cute and good in this so um, I don't know how I'm gonna look in their footage for their video but yeah. And then also I ordered this leather thigh harness to complete the look because if you look at Kill This Love. Um, Jisoo, Lisa, Rose, and Jenny, they, their outfits all have like thigh harnesses to it. And I wanted to complete the look and look really good. But that, I ordered it and it was said it was going to come on Friday. And the workshop was all on that Saturday. So it was going to come the day before. Well, it didn't come that Friday and it, I didn't know when it was going to arrive. And so I was like telling one of the girls I met there, I was like, I bet you that it's going to arrive when I get one of the workshops over. And guess what? It arrived at my house when the workshop was over so I was like what the heck was the point of buying this if I couldn't wear it to the workshop because I'm the type of person that would buy things for a specific outfit for a specific thing a specific Instagram post I mean of course I'll find use for it but I'm not really gonna be wearing a thigh harness on a daily basis like that is not my style but anyway <laughs>
Elliot, thank you for coming to our workshop. Thank Reunited. You. Yes, check out his channel. And then what's yours? And then I'll like let you know. Just okay. send me a link, sis. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You guys know I will be posting twice a week, Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, if my videos are delayed for some reason, that's because I'm busy with school and work. But I will guarantee you that I will have a lot of content coming out this summer. I'm really excited. Um, I've had a bunch of ideas that I've wanted to do for the longest time, but I 